hey, happy Friday. Um, or maybe I want to say happy holiday. <laughs> and if it's your birthday, happy December. Or oh, happy life. However you want to receive it today. But let's get right down to it. I want to just set the tone. I want us to start from here. Grace or God's grace is open to us all. God's grace is available to us all. Tonight, we're going to talk about us being God's grace carriers. We've been talking about what God expects us to carry, but tonight we're going to talk about grace. And God's grace is undeserving or unmerited favor, right? We, we can't do anything to deserve it. We can't work hard enough. We can't be good enough. It is the free gift of God. And it is given to us because God is loving, God is kind, and God is good. And that's it. It's it's free. It was it's a gift. And we can't live good enough to receive it. Romans chapter 3, verses 23 through 24 says, For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. And all are justified freely by his grace. So all of us have done wrong. All of us have sinned. All of us have did something that we know God wouldn't have liked. <laughs> We've all done it. Every person born of a woman. You understand? If you've lived to a level of maturity, you've sinned. And... We are justified freely, right? Freely by that grace. By, by the grace that God shared with us through Christ Jesus. By the price that Christ paid for us, for our sins. And that's, that, it, that, that's what grace is a result of. It's Christ's redemptive power. But well, you know, God showed it to us and he, he, it didn't start, okay, thank you, Holy Spirit. It didn't, God's grace didn't start with Christ, but it was shared with us through Christ, right? It came to live with us because of Christ. God's grace is with us, the presence of God. It is every day. And it's new for us every day. It's renewed every day, right? Because God's grace didn't, didn't just bring us salvation. It brought us forgiveness. It brought us a relationship with God or a way to reconcile with God. Um, it brought us uh, access to God's throne. Grace brought us a way to endure trials. Yeah. Grace brought us a way to have power. Grace, grace, grace has power. It, it, it penetrates. You know, it, it helps us to walk this Christian walk. None of us would be accepted or be able to redirect and change the way that we have if it wasn't for the grace of God. We need to accept that. And it's not something that we can work enough to get. So that's why it's so important that we share with others because it's a free gift that they can accept the redemptive power of Christ. And God expects us to carry that grace because God showed us great, you know, showed us extended gr grace to us, kindness, love, favor, and we didn't deserve it. And God still extends it to us daily, you all. Listen, we will never be able to walk this earth without sinning. We, as the Bible said, we were born into a sinful world. We were born into sin. The only reason why we're justified is because of the blood of the lamb, what Christ paid for us. So for us to try to own that grace, oh Lord, come on now. For us to try to bottle that grace or put it in the box that we want to put it in is wrong. And a lot of times we do. We say this person doesn't deserve grace because they don't live the right kind of lifestyle. This person don't deserve grace because their complexion is 
it's not the they don't have the right color. We, we want to rule and govern God's grace, and we can't. God extended his grace already, and it's accessible to all who would receive it in Christ Jesus, who would receive that grace. And if people who have suffered certain things could understand that, to understand that no matter what I've done, no matter where I've been, no matter what life choices I made, I have access to the grace of God because only thing I was ever told that you had access to that grace, that, that saving grace, was to accept Jesus. I don't know. People have put so many other caveats and layers onto it that man has decided or humans have decided that needs to happen. But that's not what God says. God says no one is deserving. We've all fallen short. And that will continue to be because if it were not so, then Christ would not have had to come and die for us. That was God's grace being extended and we didn't deserve it. I'm here to tell you, we are now to take that grace and extend it to others who are undeserving, because guess what? Everybody's undeserving. But the one thing about the grace of God, it has the power to penetrate. No one can live the, the life that God is asking us to live without accepting that grace. We will never pursue it because we will never believe that we're good enough. We will never believe that we uh, do the right things because we don't. We pursue that grace and we pursue the life of God because of God's unmerited favor, of God's kindness, of his love, knowing that we don't have to get it right all the time, knowing that we can make mistakes. But because of that, we want to be our best. When we find out that there's a God who will love me no matter what, now I want to turn around and be my very best for, for God. That's really what grace will help you do. And it will help you to be that person that you want to be. But there are other people who don't know that because for some of us who understand that, we want to put conditions on God's grace and we have to stop. It's God's unmerited, undeserving favor kindness and love. And we have to start extending it so the people in the world can receive it and understand that if this is what God will give me, that I want it to. You know, and we have to look for opportunities to extend that grace. I was, um, this week I was at Home Depot and we're going to wrap this up because, you know, it's used to extend God's grace as you as God's grace carries, you extending God's love, compassion, forgiveness, understanding into the world. And so I was at Home Depot and, you know, they have the curbside service. I had pre-ordered, paid for it online. I was at the parking lot in the, you know, in the parking space where it said curbside service. I let them know I was there. Now, I understand it's going to take 10 or 15 minutes for them to bring my stuff out. But we we're at the 30 minute mark, right? Past that. And I'm like, wow, what's going on? And my mom's out there with me. I'm like, wow, this is ridiculous. There's no need to have curbside service. They should just let it go. Why are they having curbside service? What's the problem? So I said, well, let me go in. I'm going to go in. And so, you know, I had every intention of walking in and saying, this is ridiculous. I've been out there forever and ever and ever and ever. You know, I was going to get on my little rant, right? But when I walked in the space, I was able to see that it was an opportunity for me to extend grace. Because when I walked in, there was a lady, you know, two women in there trying to figure this thing out and trying to get all this stuff in order. And when I came in, I said, I'm out. She said, oh, you're Ash, right? She knew right away. And she said, I'm sorry. I'm trying to get it together. And so at that point, I decided to extend grace and to show her love and kindness. And I said, okay. So she had a few items in a bag. The other was in a big box. I got the bags off the counter. I said, do you want me to go out and pull my car to the door. She said, would you? I said, yes, I will. 
And I went out and I pulled it up and she came out and she put it in the back of my car and she said, thank you. I'm sorry for the wait. And I said, no problem. And I went on because when I went in, I saw that there was a shortage of staff. There were two women in there trying to do all this work. And it was time for me to extend grace, the same undeserving and unmerited favor and kindness that God extends to me that I need to give to these ladies because they were doing the best that they could do. We don't know. I don't know how that impacted her. I'm pretty sure it did. Because I'm pretty sure everybody who comes there don't extend that grace. But we who have received grace, it is our responsibility to extend that same grace to others when we see the opportunity to. Because God expects us to be grace carriers. Much love, Keita.